Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I have a little video that I'm going to be adding and it was a request from Shay, which is Sassy Granny's blog. She wanted to know how I did the grease for my frying of my food and I told, I will, well in the video I mentioned Terry Least, I cook my my ground beef the same way she does and then I saved the fat for my own consumption where she saves it for her dogs. There is no salt or anything in this either. She doesn't put any seasoning in hers either and it's because she doesn't know whether it's going to be for her or for the dogs so she doesn't put any seasoning in. Well, let's just go to that video and you can see. It's going to be broken up a little because I've got chickens in the middle of it also. So let's go to that video. Shay had asked me how I get the fat for my cooking. and She wanted to know how I did it. So I cook the hamburger in the water like Terry Least shows in the crock pot. And then I will take this out of the water that it's in. I'll drain the meat out. I'll keep doing this until it's all out of the pan, then I'll show you what I do. <laughs> When I get most of the meat out of the juice out of the water, which is over here, and I will let this cool so that I can put it in containers, I'm going to drain this into a bowl now so that the fat can come to the top. I could hear Mr. Mr. Crowing and my little one is on the railing. Oh my goodness, you're learning, okay. And all the girls are here. We're going to give them a snack. Well then, girls. Okay. There you go. There you go, Thunder. Come on. Oh, I'm crooked. I forgot I have the camera. There. She did, he just flew down. Yeah, chick, 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 chick. Dump the last of it there. I gotta fill my container. I put the casserole with the extra juice from the ground beef in the refrigerator and as you can see there is the fat that I will have to remove. I'll wait till Jim comes home and then we can do it together. Time to take the grease off the the juice of the hamburger juice and I'll show you how I do it and then I'm going to cut it up and use it to fry anything I like to fry in my frying pan. Okay. Now we're going to see how we can get it out, if we can get it out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around the edge a little bit to loosen it first. Looks like it's getting loose. Yeah, it looks like it's getting, yep, it's getting loose. It's probably loose. Now to get it up, this is always a challenge. You might want to use your knife. I'm going to do it like this now. It's thick. Now what you're going to do is you have a spatula and you're going to scrape the, the jelly part off. And the reason you want to do that is because when you fry it, it would spatter really bad if you leave it on there. Looks to me about an inch thick. Put it on there till it warms up a little. 
after I take the jelly part off, I put it in containers like this. The jelly part? Or the, well, the, the grease? The grease and the grease off. And I put the jelly in the containers. And these containers are containers that I saved from lunch meat. And look at that, how thick it is. It's just like jello. I will freeze this and put it in the market and freeze it and use it. It's going to be delicious. Ground beef jelly for soup. Eleven, thirteen, twenty-three. Then I'll put it in the freezer, and when we want to have soup or stew or something with, or even spaghetti sauce, I can throw this in. Then I take the grease and I put it on the cutting board. And now you're gonna try and cut it. Hopefully it's it's softer. If you wait longer, it wouldn't make these cuts in between. But I don't mind. And then you cut it into pieces that are prop probably what you might use in the frying pan. Because I know they like to stick, I like to put a plastic in between. Usually I would use wax paper, but I don't have any right now. So we're going to use a baggie. Make do with what you have. The jelly part of that, after you take the fat off, that can be put in spaghetti sauce, it can be put in soups, it can be put in stews, you can put it in almost anything that you want to put it in. It's really tasty. And then you season it however you'd like to season it. I thought all my birds were not flying out of the nesting or out of the fenced area. Well, Thunder surprised me. She was outside of the, the fence the one day. And then the next day, she was outside of the fence again, and I found her in the grass box. She had laid her egg there. So I have to look every now and then to see whether Thunder is in or out of the fenced area. Today, the little rooster, you notice, was up on the fence. And what it was is Mr. Mr. did all the crowing. I could hear them crowing for the snack. He has a special crow that he uses, but he sent, or I don't know whether he sent him up there, but the little rooster was up on the top of the fence where Mr. Mister would have been to do the crowing. All the girls were around waiting for their snack and I brought it out. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.